This song is classic. I guess I do like the 70s. So we're gonna do something fun today. Okay. Fun fun or fun? We're gonna see how well you know music from the 70s. I don't. We can stop right now. <laughs> I don't know that many artists from the 70s. I'm really bad at the 80s, so I can only imagine how horrible I'll be at the 70s. When I think 70s, I can't think of like a specific artist, but I feel like I probably know some of them because like I like oldies. I'm hyped. Okay, cool. From like the 50s, 60s, 70s, I feel like I listen to a decent amount of music. from the 70s. I've heard this song in every awkward sex scene that I've watched with my parents. He's such a legend. Love this guy. So much soul and power in this song. He's so, ah. Uh. This song has like been memed so much. Every time I listen to this song, I, I feel it's like a cringy moment of a guy trying to look cool and impress, but like, it's just a total failure. Do you know it? Um, I, let's get it on. I'm not sure by who. Get it on? And I have no idea who the artist is. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. So this is Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye, I would have never gotten that. I love the song. I just feel like it's so like groovy. You just like move to the music and his voice is so good. He's so talented. Never heard of it. I don't think I've ever heard this song before, actually. Man, I didn't know I love 70s music this much. This is a classic. Do you know it? No. No idea. I have no idea. Rocket Man by like Elton John. Rocket Man. Elton John. Elton John. Rocket Man. Rocket Man by Elton John. Rocket Man by Elton John. I'm two for two. This is Rocket Man by Elton John. I got it. I can hear my best friend right now saying, "How do you not know Elton John?" <laughs> he's a very well-known artist, and I think he's done a lot of really awesome things, both for the LGBTQ community and the music community. So it's like he has a dual purpose on the planet. Okay, I've heard this one before. This is funky, I like this. I've heard this song. I've seen this in a bunch of like disco scenes. Anytime anyone's like spinning and like, whoo, this is playing. And they look like Hot Stuff, baby. Do you know it? I know it's Hot Stuff, but I don't know the artist. Hot Stuff? I don't know who it's by. Hot Stuff? Aretha Franklin? It's Hot Stuff? Hat Benatar? So this is Hot Stuff by Donna Summer. Ah, I've never heard of Donna Summer before. I have no idea who Donna Summer is, but I've definitely heard Hot Stuff before. Damn it! I always miss Donna Summer! I've heard her name so much, but I don't know, like I've never followed Donna Summer's like at all. this one before. Who is it? Oh my gosh, this is gonna kill me. This is the Mellow L playlist. This is kind of sad. I've never heard it before. It's pretty sweet. Ah, I like that song. It's like super chill and like super mellow. Do you know it? I've 
no idea who this guy is. I have no idea what this song is. I've heard it before, but I just don't know the artist. I've for sure heard it. Like, I want to say 100% have it, like, on my playlist. I just can't remember it. Pink Floyd, Comfortably Numb. This is Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Oh, I'm not, like, a super big Pink Floyd fan. It's just, like, some of the songs are 25 minutes long, and I just don't have the patience for that. I've never really listened to too much Pink Floyd, so this is new to me. And, yeah, this is pretty sweet. I might have to actually get into them now. I love Pink Floyd. Dark Side of the Moon. That was that was my whole that was my whole jam. That whole era. I guess I do like the 70s. So a lot of people think this song is about drugs, but Roger Waters says it is actually about how he would feel when he was a kid with a high fever. He said that as an adult, he has those feelings again sometimes and feels a detachment from reality. I swore it was about drugs too. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I mean, it's his song, whatever he wants it to be about. You know what? That's a really good cover up. <laughs> I was just sick, dude, I swear. That's amazing about music and lyrics. Like people take it on their own perspective and how they're feeling, even though it was written for another purpose. All right, another strutting down the street song. Oh, got the funk. Okay, I've heard this before. It makes me want to like... I've heard of this, but I'm actually really digging this one. This song is classic. I like that one. It has like a really like boogie kind of style to it. Do you know this one? I don't know it. Nope, no clue. I don't think I've ever heard that song in my life. It's called Jungle Boogie, but I don't know the artist. Jungle Boogie, I don't know who it's by. This is Jungle Boogie by Cool and the Gang. Cool and the Gang? Oh, I've never heard of them, but I've heard the song. Cool and the Gang, okay, that's awesome. It's a cool song, it makes sense. Cool and the Gang, okay, definitely a cool song. And the gang sounds, sounds hot. The music behind this is really weird. It sounds like it belongs in a circus. Ah, I feel like I've heard this. That voice is like... Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it sounded weirdly haunting. Like, that would play in the back of a, like, weird David Bowie movie. So do you know it? No. No. No, absolutely not. I know the song, but I, I don't know who sings it. This is Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves by Cher. So this is Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves by Cher. All right, Cher is a name that I know, but I can't name a single Cher song. That's right, Cher was making a lot of banging music in, in the 70s. I've seen people dress up like Sonny and Cher for Halloween, and I like recognize them as celebrities, but I don't think I've ever listened to their actual music. Cher is interesting in and of herself, so I feel like all of her music therefore is interesting. She's a little bit out there and a little bit weird and takes risks with her music, so every song is kind of a hit, even if it's not the greatest song, because everyone is so interested in her herself. So our very own Dawn from Elders React actually helped produce this song. Really? That is so cool! No way! Man, what a stud. That's so sick. No way! Dawn, shout out to you! That's awesome! What? I didn't know he was a music producer. I love all of the music episodes when he's like, you know, I was a music producer, and then he always gets them wrong, but it's really cute. I always knew Dawn was so cool. Every time you talk to him, you're like, wait, what? Like, you did that? Oh, he was so cool. You forget that he was in the music industry. Such a good one. Oh my god. Freddie Mercury had some pipes.
That song is just a classic. It's such a fun song to sing along to, but it's so hard to sing along to, so everyone just sounds terrible. But it's like a great time when it comes on. Do you know it? I don't know exactly know the name of the song. Pretty sure it's by Queen. This is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Bohemian Rhapsody by Freddie Mercury himself or Queen. It is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. This is a classic. This is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. If you want something that everyone will sing along to, it's gonna be that song. I will scream sing this song in my car, by myself or with others, you're not safe. If it comes on the radio, I'm singing it. Queen is one of my all-time favorite bands ever, and Bohemian Rhapsody is, it's such a weird, different, like, it's completely separate from anything else, and it's so unique and amazing. Do they know it on the React channel? New episodes every day, so subscribe. If you thought this episode was groovy, then hit that like button. Hey guys, I'm Katie, a React channel producer. Thank you so much for requesting this funky 70s music episode. Let me know down in the comments which artists they should listen to next. Bye guys, thanks.